Welcome back to Dancer Size Kids. My name is Tessa and today we have an exciting day. So as y'all know, we are probably all doing our class at our house today. I'm at my house and in my house we have a special birthday today. Now to introduce the birthday girl, I would like to welcome in my daughter Tiana. Everyone say hi Tiana. Hello friends. Today is Kaylee's birthday right here. She's turning 14 years old today. Should we say happy birthday Kaylee? Let's do it on the count of three. Ready? Yes. One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday Kaylee. Kaylee. All right, we're gonna have to go friends. We got some puppy birthday cake waiting for us. Thank you. Bye. We'll see you later. Thank you so much, Tiana, and thank you, Kaylee. Well, we're going to talk a little bit more about birthdays in a little bit, and we are also going to talk about our musical instruments. So, my friends, if you just watched the segment about making your own musical instruments, I'm going to pause for a moment so you can go get them and come back to join us for class. Okay, friends, welcome back. I hope that gave you time to go get your musical instruments. Now, before we go any further, I had some friends who had their mom and dad email me with some more great ideas about musical instruments at home. So I just wanted to share those with you. So we had a couple kids that didn't have maybe time to decorate some instruments or maybe didn't have enough supplies at home to do that. So they came up with some great suggestions. So these might work for you at home as well. We had some kids that used chopsticks. They found some chopsticks for music sticks. I thought that was a great idea. Some kids said that they found some spatulas and used those as wooden sticks because you could tap both the rubber end and the wooden part. So that was pretty cool and a great idea. We had some kids that had an idea for the drum. Some kids used an empty box, just how it was. Some kids also said they did good old fashioned. They took a pan and found a wooden spoon and made a drum just like that. Makes a great noise. It almost has a little ting sound to it. So those were good ideas too. Then here's one more. I thought this was another great idea. We had some kids that wanted to do maracas, but they didn't have the containers. They said they used sippy cups, um, and these are like a sippy cup. These are just like little protein shake um, mixers, and they're just filled with rice, and they make great little shakers. So that was a great job everybody did using your imagination and sharing your ideas with everybody. So if somebody else has another idea, let us know. All right, my friends. Well, we are about to get started to warm up our muscles with our scarecrow stretch. And with Farmer Joe, we're gonna do our barn dance. If you have a friend with you, you can do -si do with them, a brother or a sister, or maybe a stuffed animal. Um, you, might if you might have a dog at your house too. They can join in in the fun. So here we go. I want everybody to get up off the couch. I want you to stand up. You were gonna dance with me and we're gonna do the scarecrow stretch. All right, friends, here we go. Let's warm up those triceps. Here we go, ready? Get those knees up. Let's get some hearts pumping. Who's jumping the highest today? Get those hearts going. Good job. Come on along so you can learn our little dance. Put your feet apart, do the scarecrow stretch, and just bend your knees. Now lift your elbows. Now can you tell our friends it's working our triceps? We're working those triceps. Good job. The scarecrow song. All right, my friends, are you ready? We're going to grab your partner and swing them around. Here we go. Let's go the other way. There you go. Now we're standing in our line. Put your feet apart. Here we go. Do the scarecrow stretch. Just bend your knees. Now lift your elbows. Can you help me lift your elbows like a scarecrow? We're working triceps. Here we go. Keep on dancing. It's our scarecrow song. Good job. Now we're going to get down on the floor and we're going to 
work those triceps. Here we go. We're gonna do some backwards push-ups. Put your feet in front of you, hands behind you. Push your tummy to the sky. One, two, three, four. Let's do a couple of more. Five, six. Are you counting with me? Seven, eight. That's great. Now everybody jump up, up, up. Here we go up the floor. Shaking those tricep muscles just like that. Here we go. Maybe next time we can come to 10. Here's our birthday dog. She wants to do this one too. Do the scarecrow stretch. Just bend your knees. Now lift your elbows and dance along with me. Work your triceps. Shout out your triceps. Here we go. Keep on dancing. It's the scarecrow song. Now should we do this? We're going to get those hearts pumping. Just grab your partner. Let's swing them around. Here we go. Skip in a circle. Let's go the other way. There we go, friends. Do the scarecrow stretch. Just bend your knees. Now lift your elbows and dance along with me. What are we working? Triceps. Did you see it with me? Say triceps. Good job. Now let's try it together. Can you do your knees and your arms just like your the scarecrow? She goes just like this. She's kind of floppy. Her name is Sandy Scarecrow. Keep on dancing to the scarecrow song. Now wiggle out those triceps and everyone say, yeah. <laughs> Good job, my friends. Can you take a big bow and say, ta-da? How are your tricep muscles feeling? Pretty good? All right. Well, my friends, we said goodbye February. Hello, what month are we in? Oh, we're in March. Let's tap it up. March, March, March. And today's not Sunday, not Monday, not Tuesday. What day is it today? It's Wednesday. Let's clap it up. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. And if you're just joining us, we have a birthday at our house. It's our dog Kaylee and she's turning 14 today. Now, I know there's another special birthday. So I have a super special friend and her name is Amara. And it's Amara's birthday today too. Now my friends, Amara, loves to tell jokes and she has a super funny joke to share with everybody and it's about a kitty. Are you ready? Here it is. How do you stop a kitty from meowing in the back seat of the car? You put him in the front seat. <laughs> oh, I love that joke. That's a good one. So my friends, if you have a joke that you want to share, have your mom or dad email it and we would love to share it with the group. Well, speaking of kitties, we had something exciting happen. For those of you who um, take dancer size kids with Miss Jordan, she found a little teeny tiny, can you show me this? Meow. Here's a sign for cat. She found a little cat underneath her front porch. And that little cat was scared because it was injured. It had like a little broken uh, paw. So she was able to get that kitty and help him and bring him to the, the doctor for animals. That's a veterinarian or you call it a vet. And they said she's going to be fine. But here's the thing. Here, oh, I'm going to show you a picture of this kitty cat. She's so cute. Here's a picture of this kitty cat. Oh! <gasps> Get her. She's a little bit frightened, so we just need to be quiet and say, hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. Here's another picture of her. She's so, so cute. Look at all those colors. Can you see? She has all different colors and pretty eyes. And you know what? She's called a calico cat. So my friends, I have a job for you. This is super important. Miss Jordan is looking for names for her little kitty cat. We have to think of a name to help her. So I have a couple of names that have come in. I had somebody say s'mores, because she kind of looks like that, all those different colors. Don't you think that's a good idea? And another idea was Callie, because she's a calico cat. 
and somebody else said we should call her Kitty. So those are really good suggestions, friends, and just keep them coming in. If you can think of some more suggestions, we would love to know. And have your mom or dad email me, and I can out and we'll share that with everybody. All right, I am gonna set our picture of our kitty cat down because it's time for us to go on an adventure. Now, my friends, if you joined us for making musical instruments, I did bring mine along. And I did some little extra decorating after class. And if you have your instruments, can you hold them up right now? I ended up decorating a drum. A friend had this idea to do all the colors on there, so I did that. So this is the drum that I made. And then I made these shakers. Remember we made those out of the little boxes earlier today? And this is my water bottle. It's all decorated and these were the shakers decorated with Captain Bubblegum right on there. And then I decorated the wooden spoons too. So these are, these are what they all got decorated just like that with a little heart and star right there. You know, that's my favorite. So friends, if you made your musical instruments, take some photos and have your mom or dad send those in. Well, we are going to do our special goody goody gumdrop pirate ship with Captain Bubble Gum. Good job. I'm glad you remembered that sign. And does anybody remember the sign for boat or ship? Do you remember? You put your hands together and show it floating over the water. All right, my friends. So I have used my drum for the cookie jar. And I used my wooden spoons for the music sticks or licorice sticks. So today, I'm gonna switch it up and I'm gonna use my brand new shakers that we made in our craft activity earlier today. So if you guys are ready, we're gonna get out those shakers or your music sticks or your drums and let's do our special song with the good, good gumdrop pirate ship Oh my goodness, friends, my phone is in, there it is. All right, here we go with the goody goody gumdrop. Let's go to the front, ready? Here, oh, I'm gonna check those out, shake them up. Here we go. Are you guys ready? Let me hear, let me hear your drums. Nice job. Sailing away on the hot fudge ocean, it's raining down with chocolate chips. We like to dance, our days are waiting. You break a leg. Good job. Now kick your feet. And shake it. With our lollipops, we roll. Now show me your captain. Jump, jump. Hoi, mateys. And away we go. Ready? Jelly beans shake up and down. Tap your licorice sticks on. Hi, Kaylee. Bring cookie jars to the beat. Making music is so sweet. Shake them up high. There you go. Tap licorice sticks up high. Bang cookie jars to the beat. Making music is so sweet. Here we go. Oh, now we're Ice Cream Island. Oh, turn. Here we go. It's a goody goody gumdrop pirate ship. Kick your feet. Here we go. Whipped cream flowing to and fro. Can you show me Captain Bubblegum? Kick your foot. Ahoy, mateys. And away we go. Jelly bean shake up and down. Tap licorice sticks on the ground. Honey cookie jars to the beat. Making music is so sweet. Here we go. Can you shake to the sky? Tap licorice sticks up high. Bang cookie jars to the beat. Making music is so sweet. Now where are we? Oh, we're in the chocolate seashore. Here we go. We like to dance our days away on the goody goody gumdrop pirate ship. Kick your feet. Where's the key to anchor? Jump through a donut hole. Captain Bubblegum is shouting ahoy, mateys, and away we go. Here we go, shake up and down. Tap licorice sticks on the ground. Bang cookie jars to the beat. Making music is so sweet. Here we go. Go up high to the sky. Tap licorice sticks up high. Bang cookie jars to the beat. Making music is so sweet. Can you kick your feet? 
On the goody goody gumdrop pirate ship. Let's kick the gum off our foot. Here we go. On the goody goody gumdrop. Let's sing. Ahoy, mateys, and away we go. And everybody take a bow. Say ta da. <laughs> nice job, my friends. All right. It is time for me to put on my tech dancing shoes. And you can reach into your magic pockets, pull out your magic taps, shake them up, put them onto your toes and on your heels. And we're gonna make some tapping noises. Can I hear your feet? Can I hear them tapping? Here we go. We're gonna do our song with my friend who is a, what's this? She's a bird, that's right. And what does my friend like to do, my bird friend? She likes to copy everything. She's gonna copy everything that she hears, just like that. So I'm gonna show you, you might have seen her over here. Here's my friend, Polly Parrot. And most of the time, she likes to sit on her swing and she likes to hear and copy everything. She says, Polly wants a cracker. <laughs> All right, Miss Polly, can you tell her hi? Hi, Polly. She's gonna say happy birthday to Kaylee. All right, now my friends, it is time for us to listen to all the sounds. So when we hear the door knock, if it knocks two times, how many times do we knock? Two times, one, two. What if the door knocks four times? Let's do it, ready? One, two, three, four. Good job, my friends. Now, what if we hear the noises that the kids make with their feet where they go stomp, stomp? We're gonna do that, ready, go stomp, stomp. And then we might tap our toes. So can you put your toes together just like this? And you could put your hands on your knees and just try to lift both your feet at the same time to tap your toes, tap your toes. And if that feels really hard, you could just do one foot like that. You can tap your toes like that too. That counts too. Now, our very special step that we're doing is, do you remember? It is shuffle, hop, step. So we're going to go shuffle, hop, step. Shuffle, hop. Can you try it with me? Front, back, hop, step. Front, back, hop, step. Now, if she hears the telephone, she's gonna shout out, ding -ling! It's the telephone. And then, you know she says, Polly wants a cracker. And remember how Captain Bubblegum, when he kicks the gum off of his shoes, and he says, ahoy mateys. Well, instead of saying ahoy mateys, she says hi, hello, just like that. Just how we greet our friends. All right, my friends, I'm going to turn on the music and you need to turn your listening ears up so that you can hear all the sounds that my friend Polly Parrot hears. Here we go. Here, oh, she loves to play the piano just like that too. Ready? Polly Parrot sits upon her swing. Oh, listen! Now do your shuffle, hop, step. The mealman is here. Oh my goodness. Play that piano. Polly Parrot sits upon her swing. She hears and copies everything. Shuffle, hop. Oh. It's the telephone. Let's hear it. Dealing. Telephone. Telephone. Polly wants a cracker. Polly wants a cracker. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Polly Parrot sits upon her swing. She hears and copies everything. Shuffle.
Okay, ta-da! Nice job, my friends. All right, I'm gonna take off my tap dancing shoes and it is time for us to pull out our ballet shoes and our ballet dance is all about a special, do you remember this sign? Remember? What is that? Do you remember when you put your fingers together? That's the sign for train. And this just isn't any train. It's a music train. All right, my friends, we are going to do our song about the music train. And the sign for music is this music. Remember music. Now, on the music train, it makes all kinds of noises that are musical, right? Because music isn't just from a musical instrument. We can make music with our bodies, right? What would be a way that we could make music with our bodies? Right, we can sing, la 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 la. Let me hear you guys, la 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 la. You guys are good singers, awesome. Um, what's another thing that we could do? We could clap our hands, just like we were doing with Polly Parrot. How about this? This makes a noise too. You can tap your legs like that. And some people can whistle. Well, that wasn't a very good whistle. Whistling can be hard. Another thing that some people can do is snap their fingers. That takes a lot of practice. That's kind of hard to do. But you know what? This music um, train, it also makes a sound when it goes doot, doot, just like that. And then there's also the clickety clack as the train goes down the railroad track. So we're gonna put on our railroad arms just like this and we're gonna go clickety clack, clickety clack, then you go backwards. Go the wheels down the railroad tracks, good job. And then I want you all to pretend that you are the train conductor, and we're gonna say, all aboard, all aboard. Can you guys do that with me? Here we go, let me hear you. Ready? All aboard, all aboard. So we have all of our friends with us. Now, I don't know if you remember the really tricky step that we did yesterday, but it's called glee sod. So we're gonna put our heels together, turn down toes, and we're gonna hug our arms like this. And then when nobody's looking, like lucky leprechaun, we're gonna go just like this, ready? We're gonna go, oh, jump, jump. And then they're gonna think, wait a second, weren't you just standing there? And now you're, are you guys being tricky? Okay, I'm gonna watch, I'm watching you friends out there. We're gonna see if I can see you jump really quick. I bet you're gonna go so quickly, it'll be like lucky leprechaun. Okay, here we go, ready? One, two, three. Glee sod. Oh, oh my goodness, you guys are amazing. Can you give yourselves a big hand? Good job, my friends. Now, we're gonna do one more. Can you guys go like this? Can you bend your knees? We're doing plie, just like that, plie. All right, my friends, we're going to listen to all of the music on our music train. Here we go. Let's welcome everyone aboard. Here we go. I'm the train conductor with you. Ready? All aboard. All aboard. Here we go. Do your free side. Ready? At the whistle stop. Let's listen. Ready? You can hear. Let's listen. On the music train. Here we go. Ready? Toot toot goes the whistle. Let's do a tick tock, tick tock with the bell. Ready? So many songs to hear. On the music train, show me music train. Let's do this way. Here we go. Click any clack. Go backwards. Down the railroad track. Let's twist, singing, making music. On the music train. Here we go. Ready? See you. We're in the tunnel. Here we go. Underneath the hill. Did you glee sod? Ready? Let's listen. I heard the echo. On the music train. Here we go. Toot toot goes the whistle. Can you tick tock? Ting dong ding goes the bell. Ready? Now clap your hands and tap your legs. On the music train. Here we go, ready? Clickety clack, clickety clack. Go backwards. Go the wheels down the railroad tracks. 
dancing, singing, making music. Where are we? <laughs> music train, ready? Good job. Now go this way. Oh, this side. Go this way. We're in the little caboose. That's my favorite to hear. On the music train. Let's toot the horn. Toot, toot. Goes the whistle. Ding, dong, ding. Goes the bell. Ready? Can you clap your hands and tap your legs? On the music train. Show me your train. Clickety clack. Clickety clack. Go backwards. Go the wheels down the railroad tracks. Dancing, singing, making music. On the music train. Ready? We're going to turn this way. Now turn this way. The music train. Show me the train. my new shakers today, but I didn't get to use my new music sticks. So I think those are what I'm gonna use today. What are you gonna use for our music parade? Our music parade is just like, maybe has anyone ever been to a parade before? There's a lot of things you might see. You'll see a lot of people say, wave at all the people in the front, say hi. Hello, hello friends. You might see some animals there. Sometimes there are people riding horses. Can you show me the signs for horses? Just like that. And then sometimes you might see a clown. Oh, has anyone ever met Giggle Bean? He's super awesome. He's got miles of smiles. And here's the sign for a clown. Can you twist your nose? So you might see a clown. You might see horses. You're going to see the people, right? You'll see those people. Here's a sign for people. And there's also some cars that are gonna go through. Can you show me the sign for car? And you might see some motorcycles. Can you show me, mm, this is the sign for motorcycle, just like your vroom vroom on your motorcycle. Now my friends, I need somebody to be playing drums. I need somebody to be playing the maracas and shakers. If you have a bell or a tambourine at your house, that's what I have here. This is, this is something I didn't make. I bought that at the store. Um, I am gonna use my music sticks because I'm excited to use this. This one looks like Giggle Bean. He has silly hair and then, of course, the rainbow heart and star. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend that we're in the parade and guess which part of the parade we're gonna be. We're gonna be the marching band. That means that the people are playing their instruments while they're marching around. Now my friends, you can take this song and go around your living room or your bedroom or your playroom, wherever you are, with the music, with me, or you can do your own parade through your house or maybe around your house with your mom or dad on the outside, but you don't even need to have the music to do it. So we're gonna do it right now, and then I'm gonna tell you if sometimes we're gonna play loudly, and then sometimes we're gonna play really quietly, really soft, and then sometimes we're gonna play up high, and sometimes down low, and sometimes we're gonna play while we're turning, okay? All right, my friends, here we go. Let's have our own music parade. Are you ready? Here we go, we're gonna start out marching, ready? Strike up the band, here we go. Pick up your feet, let's go. Marching band will be coming down your street. Now we're gonna go up high, play up high, play up high. Here we go, so you can play along. Everyone's playing and marching to the beat. Let's go up to the side. We're sounding really neat. Go this way, up in the front. Are you guys in the front? Are you the music man? He's the leader. You guys are the leaders. See the people, ready? Now give them a wave. Say hello. Hello. Did you blow kisses? Mwah. Oh, who's got the bells and the tambourine? Let me hear those. We're the greatest. Oh my goodness, everyone is playing and marching to the beat. We're making music. Now we're gonna go down, we don't go. Ready? Spin the front. 
front. Who's in the front? Is that you? Oh my gosh, you're doing an awesome job. I like it when you're the leader. Ready? Now, let's hear the drums. Who's playing the drums? I'm going to use my legs as drums. Did you play the drums? We're having fun. I am. We hope your marching band brightened up your day. Let's do our circle. We're marching to the beat. We're making music. We're sounding really neat. Now let's play it loudly. Are you in the front? Now do it really quietly. Oh, the marching band did you so quietly. Let's try to do tippy toe like a mouse. All right, now really loudly. Here we go. Up in the front. Who's in the front this time? You go. Come on. You come up to the front. You be the leader. Good job. All right, here we go. Say ta-da. And take it out. Ta-da. Oh, my word. My friends. Oh, that was super fantastic. You guys are amazing. My favorite part was when you were up leading the band. Right in the front, just like that. Good job. Can you give yourself a pat right there? Good job. Good job, my friends. Well, you know what? I had set out the leprechaun trap yesterday during Dancer Size Kids. And remember, we tried to catch Lucky Leprechaun, but he, he left us a note and he left those little green footprints just going out of the box. So we never did catch him. Well, I didn't catch him, but I'm wondering, did any friends out there, did you catch a leprechaun? And if you did, what's his name? Did anybody catch one? I want to hear about it if you did. Well, some of the friends that I heard from, I wanted to say a special hello to them. I have heard from my friend Jackson. So hi, Jackson. And then we had a lot of siblings that were at home dancing with us. So I was gonna say hello to Alex and Izzy. And um, I was gonna say hello to Charlie and Hadley. And you know what? I was also gonna say hi to my friends, Ayla and Adeline, cause their mom is Mrs. Birdie. She's the one that's giving us, we had the fun Lucky Leprechaun uh, worksheets and coloring sheets that we could do and she has some other ones coming up that are with the scarecrow from the scarecrow stretch so thank you and um, thank you to your mom mrs. birdie and we also had some other friends at home we had Galvin and Enzo they are watching too so hello all my friends and if your mom or dad wants to email me you can let us know did you make musical instruments did you have a good name for Miss Jordan's kitty cat? Did you have another joke? Like my friend Amara had that really funny one about how do you stop a cat from meowing in the back seat of the car? You put him in the front seat. You guys can tell your parents that's a good one. And if you also had any other ideas for the musical instruments or if you caught a leprechaun, we want to hear about it. All right, my friends, now we're going to be together again, but we're gonna do some new songs and dances, but we'll have to learn about that tomorrow. And I still need to figure out what was the treasure map for? Did anybody else get a treasure map in your um, leprechaun trap that you sent out? I'm not sure. Uh, we'll have to figure that out together as a team. We'll do it together. Well, my friends, thank you so much for being a good listener, trying your best, and having fun with me. So, I will look forward to seeing you again tomorrow with some brand new songs and dances. This is a good time for us to have Tessa time, and we're like playing and dancing and singing and having fun. Well, maybe your mom or dad, they can go do some work or maybe do some laundry, or maybe they just want to put their feet up and take a break. So you can let them do that. Make sure you're helping out at home while we're all staying home. And until next time, remember my special sign that I do? Let's all do it together. Are you ready? Until next time, 
heart and star. Bye friends.